There is a whole new, um, very exciting um, uh, research studies that show that people are not always rational and people don't always do the right thing. That's true of all of us. You know, we might want to lose weight, but we don't have the self-discipline to do so. Uh, we might, you know, have good intentions to quit smoking, but we don't. So there is a need for people to be nudged in the right direction uh, through the use of, um, you know, seat belts or warning statements on cigarette packages or uh, what have you. And the, this new insight that's come from research suggests that policies that uh, actually nudge people in the right direction to do what's in their long-term self-interest as well as in society's interest are good policies. Right now in New York City, uh, there's a program called Family Rewards, which actually pays parents for taking their kids to the doctor, pays them when their kids get to school on time and don't miss days, uh, pays them when they pass certain exams, the kids. And those kinds of uh, policies have uh, had quite a lot of success. Um, the tax credits that we talk about in the book are another example. You pay people uh, once they get a job and you pay them in proportion to how many hours they're working. I think it is, it is definitely the case that the American public has accepted paternalistic policies. I mentioned before about welfare reform. Here was a case in which government said, you have to work. You may have children to raise, but you have to work. We are not, we are no longer going to just pay you cash for staying home. And this whole system of paying cash to people to stay home became untenable when millions and millions of mothers, including mothers with very young children, entered the labor force and paid taxes so other mothers could stay home. So government made a, what I, is clearly a paternalist decision saying you have to work. And we're, not only that, we're going to change the system so that if you don't, we're going to reduce your benefits. And in most states, at over half the states, they completely ended cash welfare if you didn't make a serious attempt to work as it was defined by the states.